Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road and today my UNESCO World Heritage journey is at the maritime mercantile city of Liverpool in England. So we're here today in Liverpool, which for 300 years during the height of the British Empire was one of the richest and most important cities on the entire planet. On these docks, every single day, thousands of ships would load and unload cargo and people from all over the planet. Now behind me you can see the pierhead, the three graces, the three beautiful buildings facing the waterfront. We have the Royal Liver Building, the Cunard Building, and the Port of Liverpool Building. They were all built in the early 20th century to create office space for local businesses. Behind me you can see the Albert Dock and it, when it was built in 1848 it was revolutionary. It was one of the largest brick buildings in the entire world, one of the largest docks in the entire world and the revolutionary new idea that you could drive your boat directly up to the dock and unload straight into the warehouse, no stuffing around on the wharves required. These days of course it's no longer used as a dockyard. There is a Tate Art Gallery, a Maritime Museum and a Beatles Museum as well. Now this area is known as the Rope Walks and it's because back in the age of sail there was a lot of rope making factories in the area. And there was a very cosmopolitan feel back in the day as well. Lots of uh, merchant seamen and captains, traders, artisans, all those sorts of people lived in this area and it still has that feeling today. Now this is the cultural district of Liverpool and it's the city's beating heart. I'm standing in front of St George's Hall and it's an unusual combination of courthouse and concert hall. There's also a library, a big theatre, an impressively grand train station and it's just such a, a great place to see. This is also where they've had uh, public memorials for famous Liverpoolians like John Lennon and George Harrison. On this spot was where the castle of Liverpool once stood. It is of course long gone, like the docks and the wharves upon which the city built its name and its fortune. And it's fascinating to see how this history can translate into modern success. The city is vibrant and really pulsating and I've really enjoyed my time here. But that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage site.